Welcome back to the series of short tutorials explaining how to do reproductive analysis in Excel following the instructions in the standard operating procedure linked in the description below. This tutorial is on calculating spawning periodicity. Um, in this case, we're looking at how spawning effort changes with month. And we're measuring or estimating spawning effort with a GSI or gonadosomatic index. Uh, three columns are automatically populated once you add your data. And again, uh, this tutorial assumes that you've already uh, pasted your data into the data worksheet in this spreadsheet. If you haven't, please follow the instructions uh, in the video in the link below. So this column automatically goes down through the data and calculates a gonadosomatic index. That is the whole gonad weight divided by the quantity body weight minus whole gonad weight. Okay. This column simply tells us if that was calculated for a female or if it was calculated for a male. Then we come over here and uh, the analysis was done by month. So each of these numbers represents a month, January uh, through December. And we have uh, mean female GSI calculated in this column. Now we didn't have any data for the first four months or for the last three months, so we only have uh, GSI values, mean GSI values, for May through September. Okay. And this is the standard deviation uh, for those GSI values. Now it's important to emphasize here that this calculation is not accurate until you have estimated uh, female size at maturity. Okay. Here's the formula that uh, this calculation is using, and it's only including information for individuals that are larger than female size at maturity. Because we're looking at spawning periodicity, it doesn't make sense to calculate a GSI and include it in a spawning periodicity uh, calculation unless that individual was actually large enough to spawn, or in other words, if it was mature. Okay. So we've already gone through and calculated female size at maturity in an earlier exercise. There's a link in the description below to that video in case you forget how to do it. Um, so we have some accurate numbers here, but what I want to point out is that we have not yet done male size at maturity in the examples that I've shown you so far. So first you'd have to go through and do male size at maturity before accepting the numbers here. And if we did that, you would see that these numbers uh, would change by quite a bit, okay? So when you're looking at uh, this spreadsheet, don't be fooled when you see numbers here. Remember, you have to calculate size at maturity before these numbers are going to be accurate. 